So if we are going to be directing a circle, there is two different formulas I'm going to let um, describe to you. First of all, if we have a Cartesian coordinate system, right, an x and a y axis, and if we say that the center is at the origin, or 0, 0, all right, then what we can do is we can create an equation based on x and y of what the circle is going to be. All right? So if I just have a general circle, and we're not talking about units right now, the general equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where r equals the radius. All right? And x and y, remember, x and y, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, represent any point that's on the circle. Right? Any point that's on the circle, that's what x and y represents. Because right? remember, a circle is a set of points equal distance from the center. Right? So x and y represent any point that's on the circle. r represents the radius. Terrell, I, I'm really trying to be polite in asking you about this. Um, let's really try to write this down and focus free. Now, what about if I have a circle that is not at the origin, meaning the center is not at the origin? Let's say I have a circle written over here. All right, so you guys can see now the center is not at the origin. All right, so when the center is not at the origin, we're actually going to use a different formula because x and y represent the points on the circle, correct? So I can't use, I don't want to use x and y for the points of the center. So what we come up with is using the points h and k. All right, so the equation of a circle when it's the center, this is the center at the origin. If the center is not at the origin, and notice guys, the, really the formula is the same thing. It's that when, the, or when it's at the origin, h and k are 0 and 0, right? But when it's not at the origin, I have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where the center is now the coordinate point h comma k. And r still represents the radius. All right? You guys will be asked this, and we're going to do two questions now. All right? It's OK. We're going to do two questions to try to figure this stuff out. And that's it. That's it. That's the new information. We're just going to practice two more problems. And then we'll be done. So it all depends on if Malik writes it down. All right, what I'd like you guys to do is see if you guys, based on the information that I'm providing you right now, if I tell you there's a center negative 3, 4 and a radius 8, why don't you guys go and see on your own, see if you can figure out what is the equation, what is the equation of that circle. So I gave you guys two formulas. See if you can do it. Jake, can you put your music out of your ear, please? I'm trying to be very polite and fair to everybody. And I know that since you have music in one ear, you can definitely hear me in the other. So let's just please take it out. OK, circle strong. I think that didn't work. Jake, I'm trying to be very, very polite. Devin, you try this yet? Yeah, dude. You just drew a circle, you liar. 
Mm, close. Close. That's correct. That one's wrong, though. And then you can simplify that. Right. Yes. Huh? 30. Muy bueno. Simplify x8 squared, though. Uh, January 31st. Yeah, remember we had the party? Oh, I only did the party for third third period. All right, ready? Uh, 